Are you ready to sing our hello song? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. In our homes at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. In our homes at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. In our homes at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Great job and hello to you too. Today we are going to talk about gingerbread men. Have you ever made a gingerbread man before? I haven't either, but it does sound very fun. So at the very end of this program, I have an activity where we get to build a gingerbread man. But this first book I have for us is called Gingerbread Man Loose in the School. And he didn't start out as a gingerbread man. How do you think he started out? Let's read and find out. This book is by Laura Murray and illustrated by Mike Flowery. I began in a bowl. How many of you guys guessed he began in a bowl? That's right. He was not yet himself. Just a list of ingredients pulled from the shelf, like sugar, salt, ginger, eggs, and flour, chosen by the children who measured and mixed my smooth, spicy batter while sneaking quick licks. Mmm, yummy. So this isn't the way we're going to make our gingerbread man, but that would be a really great project for you guys to do at home too. Well, it took a sprinkle of ginger and some cinnamon too, molasses, soft butter, and eggs as my glue. Then in their classroom, the children began to roll me and mold me to look like a man. They added some sweets to make me complete and I baked on a pan in the warm oven heat. I heard a small ding, and then they pulled out the pan. And what do you think happened? That's right. Finally, I thought I am the gingerbread man. What a wonderful looking gingerbread man. The teacher called recess. So the class jumped in line. They raced out the door and they left me behind. I popped off the pan yelling, please take me too. I want to be part of the class just like you. I'll run and I'll run as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm the gingerbread man. Bouncing and bouncing my way down the hall, I rolled around the corner and spotted a ball. I rolled up so fast I had no time to hide, and then flat as a pancake, I stuck to its side. Where do you think he's going to go now? The coach picked it up, and I started to bounce. There's somebody down here, I had to announce. Who's that, he said, stopping. He jumped when he saw me. Good grief. It's a cookie. I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm trying to find the children who made me, but they left me behind. Your class passed the gym a few minutes ago. Run fast, and you'll catch them. Oh, no. Where's your toe? His toe? He lost his toe? Where do you think he could go? <gasps> My toe, it came off. Now, what should I do? Well, here it is. Go straight down the hall and our nurse can help you. I'll limp and I'll limp as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm their gingerbread man. So I picked up my toe and I hopped down the hall, then into a room that was tidy and small. The nurse came right over. She squatted down low. I pointed and showed her my broken off toe. Do you think the nurse is going to be able to fix his toe? Let's find out. 
You're quite a tough cookie. We'll fix you like new. I grinned and I said, thanks, and I'm a smart cookie too. You certainly are if you found your way here. And what a brave face, not one single tear. She fixed up my toe with a small dab of glue, then reached for a bandage and stuck that on too. I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm trying to find the children who made me, but left me behind. The nurse fixed him all up, but now he needs to find where his class is. Well, the nurse said, your class turned the corner just minutes ago. Try asking the art teacher. Maybe he'll know. He's right down the stairs. You can take a quick ride. Just hop on the handrail. It makes for a great slide. I'll slide and I'll slide as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm their gingerbread man. With spectacular speed, I slid to the floor and bounced right in through a large wooden door. I leapt from a table but landed inside a brown paper bag with its top open wide. I plopped on a sandwich and chips with a crunch. Oh no, I cried out. I'm in somebody's lunch. He's a cookie in somebody's lunch. What do you think will happen? <gasps> Let's find out. I tried to climb out, but I spied two big eyes. They peered in the paper bag with a look of surprise. I'm the art teacher here, he said with a grin. This is my lunch bag. So glad you dropped in. I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm trying to find the children who made me but left me behind. Oh, thank goodness he didn't get eaten. How many of you thought he was going to get eaten? I'm glad he didn't. But let's see if the art teacher knows where the class went. Your class passed the art room just minutes ago. Maybe you could ask the principal. She might know. I leapt from the table and I waved and then said, thanks for not taking a bite of my head. I'll skip and I'll skip as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm their gingerbread man. I passed through the office and I slipped right under the door and discovered a room I had yet to explore. I jumped on a desk, then leapt to a chair it started to spin and I twirled through the air. Whee! Despite feeling dizzy, I jumped up for more, but froze when I saw someone peek through the door. Who do you think it could be? Do you know? It's right. I'm Principal Peacock, she said, stepping in. That is my chair you just took for a spin. Well, I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm trying to find the children who made me, but left me behind. The children you mentioned just left you to cool. They're hanging these posters of you through the school. <gasps> Missing our gingerbread man. They're looking for him too. And on the wall was a drawing of me and the poster said, missing from room 23. If found, please return him as soon as you can. We think he is lost and he's our gingerbread man. I jumped in her hand. Can you show me the way? We rushed to my classroom and they all shout, hooray! The class said, we missed you. We want you to stay and be our new friend. Please don't run away. We made you a gingerbread desk and chair and a house all your own. It is cozy in there. You're part of our class now. You're where you belong. Next time we go out, we will take you along. See his little chair and desk there? It's so perfect for him. And then his house. 
which my opinion is missing a few gumdrops and maybe candy canes. Another fun activity that you guys could do this winter break, a gingerbread house. I felt right at home here. I liked my new place. I looked out the window with a smile on my face. I ran and I ran as fast as I could. I finally found them and I knew that I would. The end. What did you guys think of that book? The gingerbread man is funny, isn't he? I'm so glad in the end things worked out for him. They all seemed like they're very happy. Which takes me to a song. Would you guys like to sing if you're happy and you know it? All right, go ahead and get up. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Good job. Well, the next story I have for you, if you would like to go ahead and take a seat, please, is another story about the gingerbread man that we just read about. His school is going on a trip to the zoo. How many of you guys have been to the zoo before? No. I love the zoo. What's your favorite animal? That is such a great animal. My favorite animal is a panda bear, which can't be seen at every zoo, but there are some zoos with them here, like the Washington DC Zoo. Well, let's see what animals the gingerbread man and his schoolmates find. In the book, I'm going to have you guys help me figure out which animals they are and what sound they make. So, the gingerbread man Loose at the Zoo, also written by Laura Murray, the same author, and illustrated by Mike Lowry, the same illustrator. I woke up to the sound of a roar and hooting and hollering and growling a roar. He looks frightened, doesn't he? I ran to my window to see the strange creature. Grrr! Imagine my shock when I saw it was my own teacher. My classmates all giggled, so I joined in their games. We watched all her sounds to the animal names. Can you guys help me? What do we have here? A frog. And what does a frog say? Ribbit, ribbit. Very good. And over here, an owl. And what does an owl say? Hoo, 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 hoo. And here we have a wolf. Oh, oh. You guys make really great animal sounds. And over here we have a snake. And a snake says, yes. wow, you guys are very scary snakes. It's zippity doo day, zoo day and ready to go. Let's load up the bus and find out what you know. We'll go on a scavenger hunt through the zoo. I love scavenger hunts. How about you? Here are some animal riddles for you. I'll be a detective. I know that I can. I'll solve all these clues because I'm the gingerbread man. 
How exciting. Scavenger hunts are so much fun. Have a wild day, said a man at the front, as we pulled out our riddles to start on the hunt. Riddle number one. Are you listening? Good. I'm spotted. I'm gentle. I'm tall as a tree. A branch full of leaves is the best snack for me. I have a new baby, and she is my calf. Aha! We all shouted. The answer is... A giraffe! We followed the signs as we raced down the trail till we spied her long legs and her thin spotted tail. I jumped on the railing to get a good look and out popped her tongue like a curvy blue hook. Did you know that giraffe have blue tongues? What color is our tongue? Red, that's right. She scooped me up high as her tongue curled around, but nobody noticed below on the ground. My classmates were busy reading their clue. Oh no, I cried out. She's beginning to chew. I'll wiggle and jiggle as fast as I can. I'm not a green leaf. I'm the gingerbread man. I tickled her nose and she let out a sneeze. Achoo! Then I zoomed through the air to some tropical trees. A long loopy vine twisted down and around. So I whipped up my courage and swung to the ground. I glanced at my paper, then knew what to do. By solving the riddles, I'll find the class too. Are you guys ready for the next riddle? All right. Riddle number two, I scurry, I screech, and I swing from my tail. I'm hanging around on the small primate trail. I love sweet bananas, and I'm feisty and spunky. I know, I shouted. It has to be a monkey. I heard a loud rustle and turned in surprise to a small cheeky monkey with curious eyes. He peeked at my buttons, then tried for my hat. No way, silly rascal. I can't give you that. I'm not a banana, I said as I ran. I must find my class. I'm the gingerbread man. He stayed on my tail as I dodged through the grass, but I squeezed underneath the tall habitat class. Do you think the monkey was going to eat him too? Ugh, it must be hard being a gingerbread man. Well, I followed the riddles and found the big cats, the elephants, the bears, and even a naked mole rat. I waved to a zebra and a rhinoceros too. Don't forget about the seals who was slurping down fish for her afternoon meal. The crocodile opened his big toothy trap. He eyed me like I'd make a good gingerbread snap. Oh no. The fox licked his chops so clever and sly. Stay away from that guy. I've got to keep looking. I know that I can. I'm not giving up. I'm their gingerbread man. I read the last riddle. I've got it, I said, then spied the right sign on the trail up ahead. I raced down the path and my feet fairly flew. Then out from a shove, popped a kangaroo. She started to whimper, hopped this way and that, then snuffled and shuffled and slumped and then sat. Are you lost, little Joey? I'll hope you get back. I'm kind of lost too, but I think I'm on the right track. Did you know that a baby kangaroo 
is called a joey. How neat. I'm following animal clues through the zoo, and I'm willing to bet that you know this one too. I love eating grasses. My ears are quite long. I use my strong legs as I'm hopping along. My mom has a pouch where I play peekaboo. So I looked at my friend. See, this clue is about you. So she opened her pocket and pointed inside. I tucked myself in and said, thanks for the ride. We'll follow the arrows that say kangaroo. They'll lead me to my classroom and your mama too. Together we'll find them. I know that we can. A small kangaroo and a gingerbread man. There he is in the gingerbread's pouch. Or the gingerbread man is in the kangaroo's pouch. Do you think it would be fun to ride in a kangaroo's pouch? I know that hopping's fun, but I'm not sure about riding in a pouch. We hopped down the path to a grassy savanna and spied a large crowd near the outback cabana. I propped from her pocket and jumped to the ground. She sprang to her mum with a long leaping bound. How exciting. I'm so happy the gingerbread helped the little Joey find his mama. But what about the gingerbread? Do you think he found his classmates? Yes, they did. My classmates all pointed and let out a cheer. We followed the riddles and we found you all here. You are such a smart cookie. You helped save the day. Our Joey got lost and you showed her the way. I'm so very proud of my super zoo crew. Now it's time to head back to our habitat too. Here's one more riddle to solve while we go. The answer is someone I think you might know. I'm smart and I'm tough. I'm a really sweet guy. I have buttons, a hat, and a little bow tie. When problems arise, I cook up a plan. I know, we've got it, they cried. The answer is our gingerbread man. Three cheers for the gingerbread man. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Great job. You guys are so smart too. So I guess that makes you a smart cookie. All right. So for our activity that you guys could do is a gingerbread man, of course. I have these pre-cut out gingerbread guys, and they have their form, but they're not decorated. See here, this guy, he's got a hat and a squiggly eyebrow and some eyes, a smile on his face, a bow tie and some pants. And of course, there's other gingerbread men too. This guy has candy buttons and lollipop nose. There are so many different ways to make a gingerbread man. So I have some starting things for you guys, like some eyeballs and some squigglies and some cotton balls, maybe for icing and some eyeballs and a few other things in there as well. But feel free to use anything you have at your house too. And please send me a picture sharing your gingerbread man with me or gingerbread girl, I suppose. Also, I have an experiment included in our bag as well. An experiment is a science project that we can do. How many of you guys like science? So in this science project, you need a peppermint, a peppermint candy just like this. And you need a bowl and you need some warm water. What you do is you fill the water up into the bowl and then just enough to cover the peppermint. You put the peppermint inside the bowl and the magic happens right in front of your eyes. Then you can use your five senses, which are seeing, smelling, tasting, hearing, and touching to see what happens to your peppermint. All of the instructions are inside of the bag as well, so come on into the library and grab yourself a bag of activities. 
It will also include a snack. And if you guys aren't able to make it in, I'm going to have these instructions posted on the website as well. So you can check that out. And if you have a printer, you can print these things out and do this from home too. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy your winter season and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.